Hey friends. So I want to work in my health planner because I intend on like starting using this next week, uh, which would be the, uh, what is it? The 25th of November? Yes. The 25th of November. So I did a video where I kind of went through the book and mapped out my plan for it, which is awesome, but I need to like actually implement stuff, right? and get it at least somewhat set up. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So this is like my intro. I don't know. I feel like some of this might be like sped up, um, honestly. And yeah, we might speed some of this up and I might, you know, voice over. I'm not really sure what the structure is going to be, but I just, I'm sitting here. I had some time and I am just going to be like cutting stuff out, working in it and maybe setting up at least the first month or so is my goal here. Hey friends, editing Tiffany here. Uh, so I decided to voice the video over just because this was a really long video when I was filming it in real time. So you're going to see moments in this video where I'm pausing and talking with my hands because I was talking to the camera, but um, it was almost an hour long and there were so many interruptions, so many instances that it would have been very difficult to edit out my dogs like barking really loud. So I just said, forget it. I'm just going to speed it up and put in and do a voiceover basically. So this was like me setting it up from the beginning was I cut out my vision board that I created in Canva. And I had also found these year at a glance freebies from Plan With Bees website. The year at a glance was not available in Hobonichi week size. So I printed it in personal size and just kind of like trimmed it like a little bit narrower. And I also left some room at the bottom because I cut off that 2025 portion. I didn't need it because I, you know, I'm using this book in 2025. So I'm just kind of going back and forth and making sure like everything's going to fit. And then I'm going to tip in and... <clears throat> Tip in, sorry guys, tip in this vision board here that I made in Canva. I found it to be very motivational and I left my cor corner rounder at work. So I had to like round them manually, which it wasn't that bad. It just took me forever. And then I rounded the corner and then cut it again. So then I had to round the corner again. I was like, <laughs> let me waste some time. Um, but anyway, so I decided to tip in my vision board with washi tape um, just in case, like, as the year progressed, I decided I wanted to change it or, you know, make, add some stuff or whatever. Um, and then I'm using this, these two years at a glance. It's the same year, 2025, year at a glance. On the left-hand side, that is where I intend to track headaches and migraines. And also, if I take a PRN medication, um, this part got a little wonky because Chewy got freaked out by something. And jumped up and was like trying to get me to rescue him. I'm not really sure from what. He was just really freaked out. So um, that page kind of went in weird. But it is what it is. It was glued down. So <laughs> nothing I could do about it. I also did leave the bottom portion blank. So that I could create the key that I had talked about when I did my setup video. I feel like this is a good time to say now. That if you are curious about what... I want this health planner to look like. I have a video that is link that I'll link in the cards that I think you should probably watch just to kind of get an idea of the reason why I am making this video or you know using a health planner and my process for like mapping it out. So I basically like tipped in that vision board, but I pasted in the Hello Kitty like affirmations board. Um, because I don't see me wanting to change that. Um, so I kind of reviewed that I had like the step tracker and I was really trying to figure out because I intend to start using this planner on November 24th. So I was like, there's going to be at least an entire month where I can't track steps. I can't track headaches and migraines from a yearly perspective. So what I decided to, to do was on the sidebar of the monthly in December, I went ahead and kind of like made a tracker where I'm tracking my headaches, migraines, if I, make ten, if I go like 10,000 steps a day, and then if I took a PRN prescription, 
And then I go in with a Tombow and highlight every other line. I really struggle sometimes to see or to make sense of things if I don't have things broken up visually. So that's kind of what I did. And then I decided to go back into my headache migraine tracker, my yearly tracker, I guess, to create my key using these dot markers that I had bought from Home Goods. Um, and so I want to look at headaches, migraines from a yearly perspective because I see a neurologist about twice a year or so. And um, I want to kind of be able to compare and contrast and know is this getting worse, better, staying about the same? Is my preventative medication helpful? That type of thing. Um, I also had a little boo-boo here where I was trying to be all creative and stuff. And I used like a really dark gray Tombow. And I was going to use my white jelly roller uh, to like write in headers and just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I can see it. It's just not very bright. So the next thing I'm going to be setting up is my weekly. And I go through this long spiel of how I'm going to set it up. I did like a quick little mock-up in my current weeks because I had a couple of weeks that I hadn't used. Um, and so I was trying to figure out what do I want to track on a weekly basis? What do I want to track on a monthly basis? And is there going to be some overlapping? Um, so basically what I decided to do is I... I need this to be simple. Like I need this to just be the information that I need it to be. I don't need this to this planner or this like record to be so complicated that it's not sustainable. So I decided to pull out the nutrition altogether. Um, I kind of made the decision after I made the planner or the video where I was just kind of like mapping out how I was going to use it to, um, to like use my fitness pal if I'm tracking nutrition because I'm not tracking it. So I'm like, I, I don't know that I'm going to be tracking it next week, you know, and it's Thanksgiving week. So what I decided to do was I decided to split it in half, split the, the planner side in half and do um, on the left hand side of that line uh, and just note mood and mental health um, on the right hand side, any symptoms. And then I created um, on the note side of the weekly planner, I drew in those boxes and I decided to make that like my self-care section where I would just note what I did to take care of myself within that day. I also did some highlighting um, at the bottom of each day and that's just going to very simply be rate my day on a scale of one to five. How was my day? Um, and then I also said that if I highlight the date, that means that it was a really difficult day for me and I kind of spiraled or I was hyper fixated or hyper focused on things. Um, and then for the remainder of the notes, I decided to draw in a weekly sleep tracker just to kind of see, you know, on a weekly basis, how much sleep I'm getting. I also kind of messed up. So I had to use some white out, but it's all good. I also decided to track my energy levels. My energy levels have been all over the place. Um, I do have bouts of hyperactivity where my energy is crazy high, but I also have lows. So I kind of want to see that on a weekly basis. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to track was habits. And with those habits, I wanted it to be um, movement. If I drank my 64 ounces of water, if I journaled, if I read, if I did hobbies, and just a reminder to take my daily medication. Um, I don't take a lot of medication, but I do have a daily prescription that I take at bedtime. And sometimes I forget if I took it. <laughs> so I was hopeful that this, like me actually tracking that I took it would, you know, be easier to keep up with. Um, so, and then I drew in a little notes section where I could just jot down any notes that I felt like. And then I did a rate my week. So overall within that week, on a scale of one to five, five being like the best week ever, one being meh, no thank you, um, what would it be? And then I also wanted to note the highs and lows because um, I think that's important. Then I threw down some washi because I am who I am and I am going to decorate stuff. So what I decided to do was I decided to draw in a tracker for the month of December with the remaining days of November, the 25th through the 30th. And I was looking at, because I did kind of like a little mock-up in the back of my current weeks, 
And I, there are things that I want to see on a monthly basis, right? I want to be able to compare them to previous months. And so basically what I want to track is my mood first and foremost. Am I mad or angry? Have Did I get frustrated? And it's not going to be like what I've done in the past where I'm like drawing lines and doing like mood of the day. If I, if I experience those emotions, I kind of want to know it. So I did angry, mad, frustrated, anxious, if I panicked or spiraled, tired, happy, content. And then I did sleep, which was eight, seven, six, five, four. Um, I did energy, high, medium, low, because I, I want to see them all together so that I know you know, it did one of these affects the other, you know what I mean? Did I get like, so panicky and spiral that maybe like the next day I was exhausted, you know what I mean? So I want to see how they all kind of work or they correlate with one another. Um, I also put knee pain down, <laughs> knee pain sucks so bad. And I've been having a lot of knee pain and I really want to keep a watch on that. That was something that I used to track a lot. I also want to note if I take over the counter pain medication, um, I tend to do that quite a bit. And so I want to know how frequently I'm doing that. I think that's important to note. If I take an, um, a per, like a PRN, like prescription, I want to note that. Um, I also am noting if I do self-care, so something for myself and then intimacy. Um, so I did have three lines left and I highlighted every other line, but as of right now, I think that's what I want to track on a monthly basis. And then basically what I decided to do, because I had only allocated 12 days for like the 12 months of the year, is I decided just to share the med list and the refill log um, on one page because I don't take that much and I don't have to, you know, I get 90 day supplies of mostly of my medicine. So I just kind of, you know, drew that out. I also drew out um, just a quick little doctor visit date notes, that type of thing. And I did the same with like a health log and my weight log in the back. So, um, you know, like I was saying, I really wanted this to be as simple as possible because if I try to overcomplicate this, I'm going to have fatigue. I'm going to be fatigued by it and I'm not going to want to keep up with it. So I think when you're like setting up a health planner, um, I think it's important to do what's going to work for you. So, yeah, um, I also am going to create a self-care plan and some health goals, but I'm not there mentally yet, so I'll get there eventually. So, you'll see me, like, kind of flipping through the remainder of it, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was informative and helpful. I'll see you guys soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.